everybody. Happy Wednesday. It is I, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. Happy Wednesday, guys. And Wednesday is always part of our creative writing series that we like to call ghost writing. What is ghost writing? Ghost writing is when we take a popular song that's in the top, you know, 20, top 30, top 50, top 100 billboard chart. We take the chorus only of that song and we rewrite all the lyrics in the chorus with our own original lyrics. Sort of like parodies. You know what a parody is? Like when Weird Al Yankovic sings a song or people do a funny version of a song. That is a parody. But that's not what we're doing. Um, we're doing, we're taking a song, taking the chorus, rewriting all of our own original lyrics in place. But the melody's the same still. Everything's the same except the words. And we do this because it's a really great exercise to keep your chops up, to almost like unthink a song that you already know you know, to unlearn it, to write your own words. It's, a, it's not an easy, uh, it's not an easy exercise. And, um, you know, the other, the other thing that's, you know, really important in this exercise is um, it's got to have the same, it starts when, when, the, when the lead singer sings, whoever the song is, you have to start. When they stop, you stop. You have to sing the same way they do on the beat. Um, if they have a three-syllable word, I would prefer you have a three-syllable word in there. Or you can make three one-syllable words as long as it all works in the time that you have within each measure of the chorus. I hope I'm not confusing you. Um, you know, um, if, if the word is... Um, you know, imperfection, you know, you have to imperfection. That's a four syllable word, right? Um, yeah, imperfection. Uh, you, you'd have to sit down and really think about the word and find a four syllable word or find four syllable, find four one syllable words as long as it fits. The only stipulation and rule is it's got to rhyme, it's got to tell a story, and it's got to make sense. When you listen to a song and you listen to their words, really listen to their words. In fact, not just listen to them. I want you to write them down. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna play you, um, not yet, but I'm going to talk about the song we're doing tonight. So the song, excuse me, what we're doing is a song by Parmalee and Blanco Brown. And the song is called Just The Way. That's the name of the, the you know, the song. And they say that in the chorus. But um, so anyway, I listened to the song. I really liked the song. So, and it had a lot of words. This is going to be a challenging one, but I think you guys are, up to the task because lately you guys have been just killing these, you know? So I really want to see what you guys can come up with for this exercise. Cause this is a really good song. And like I said, this is a really hard exercise, but I want you to at least try it. So here's, so what I'm going to do right now, hold on. I'm going to play you, um, I'm going to play you their chorus. So listen to the chorus and read the words in the chorus because you're going to see the words come up on your screen. So <clears throat> anyway, this is uh, Parmalee and Blanco Brown doing just the way. Here, Here's the chorus. I, ha I'm, I made a little ahead of the chorus, so here we go. I love you just the way God made you, girl, he don't make mistakes. What you call your imperfections, I call beautiful, babe. So let my eyes be your mirror, and you're bound to see it too. Cause I was made for loving just the way God made you. Okay, 
so you heard the chorus now, right? So, and you saw the words, okay? So what I want you guys to do at home is take your pen and pad, your paper, and I want you, really listen, I want you <clears throat> to write down their line, the, the first line of their chorus. So, and then see how I wrote theirs. That means it's their song. Then I write mine. This is my lyric for the same line. So it's theirs, first line, my first line, their first line. I mean, their second line, my second line, their third line, my third line, and so on, all the way down. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to say, I want to say their words, okay? I love you just the way God made you, girl. He don't make mistakes, what you call what you call your imperfections I call beautiful babe so let my eyes be your mirror and you're bound to see it too cuz i was made for loving just the way god made you okay um and so that's pretty much their their line okay you can go back and rewind this video and listen, and you can see the words come up on the screen. So just pause it, write your word down, hit play, let it go, and then pause it again, write the next line down. Show I. Okay, so. Um, now I'm going to show you um, the words that I wrote in place of what they wrote. So I wrote... One kiss is all it took to prove I have no doubts or regrets. Said it's just infatuation, but I'll never forget. I pray that we can get closer, but we'll make it work, my friend. Can't stop this heart from trying. We could be back again. And then we could be, we could be, we could be, we could be back again. We could be, we could be, we could be, we could be back again. So you get it. You get the idea, right? So like I said, I'm going to show it to you one more time. There's mine. And see how I put lines between each word. I put a little dash between each word. So, and then when it's a two-syllable word, um... I put that in too. If it's a three syllable word, I put that in too. What you call infatuation. You see that? Yeah. So, so it's like in dash fat dash U A dash T I O N. So you put, you put them all in there so that you have, you know, if it's like, like, you know, the, like I said, it's a three syllable or a four syllable word. Infatuation. Actually, it's five. Wow. Infatuation. Okay. So it's a five syllable word. And uh, you don't have to find a five syllable word. You could find, you know, a, a three syllable word and two a two syllable word. It doesn't matter. Or five one syllable words. The only stipulation, like I say this every week, is it's got a rhyme. It's a song. Songs rhyme. It's got a rhyme. It's got to tell a story. It's got to make sense. Okay? My story is different than their story. So you can write whatever you want. It doesn't have to be their story, you know, or even their theme. Like, that, you know, you can come up with your own... In in entirely your own story and your own theme. These are, you know, this is your universe. You write whatever you want, okay? So in my song, it's like, you know, we had a relationship, but it failed, but I want to try it again because I can't stop thinking about you. So that's where I came from with it, you know? And basically in their song, they're saying, you're perfect in every way. That's not what mine's about. Mine's about... Let's try it again. I think we can do it. But, but you know, I can't do it without you. So let's, let's bring it back and do it 
again. So I found a karaoke version of this. So I'm going to sing you my original lyrics over this. So here it is. Here it comes. One kiss is all it took to prove I have no doubts or regrets. Said it's just infatuation, but I'll never forget. I pray that we can get closer, but may the work my friend can stop this heart from trying. We could be back again. We could be, we could be, we could be, we could be back again. chorus that I wrote for that song. All right, guys, that is all the time that we have for tonight. This is your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend Joe CB signing off. I love you all. I miss you. Be safe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.